everyone, I'm Deb Rayleigh with the Social Tech Team, and I want to welcome you to our micro series here on how to grow your audience here on Facebook. The training here is going to make some assumptions that you have a Facebook business page. If you don't have a business page, we strongly encourage you to have one because there's going to be an awful lot of information that you're going to be able to glean from that in the insights section that we will be using. We will also dive a little bit into Facebook groups and how to grow those audiences there as well. So if you haven't uh, built out a Facebook page or you aren't even sure where to begin, you can always grab our course on Facebook for Business. It covers both of those elements in that particular course and that would be a great starting point for you. We also have the assumption that you have gone through some sort of exercise to identify who your target audience is. We're not going to unpack that in the next five days. We're making the assumption that you already know that information. And if you're not familiar with how to identify your target audience or, um, or your market there, then that information you can certainly dive into pretty deeply into our Marketing You, Branding and Marketing You course that we have available on our website. So we're making some assumptions here as we dive into this training. So let's get started with today's lesson. So today, we're just gonna be focusing on not growing the audience, but making sure that we're providing content to our audience that they're gonna fall in love with. And we want to have content there that gets people reacting and gets people engaging. So today we're going to take a look at where can you find this type of content and more importantly, where can you find the information that tells you what it is exactly that your audience is interested in. Just because you see something going viral out there on Facebook doesn't mean it's going to be speaking exactly to your audience. So we want to be sure that we have our blinders on and that we are looking at the information that's provided to us based on the activity and engagement from our audience that we currently have so that we're then able to deliver content that we think really will tingle their toes. So let me show you where to find the information uh, as we start building out our plan to grow our audience. Okay, so today is just step one where all we're trying to do is find out what type of content are they looking for and what's really working on our pages and in our groups. All right, let me show you. Okay, you're going to go to your Facebook business page and I'm looking at all of this from a computer. And when I'm on my Facebook business page, right at the top, there's this section here that says insights. If you were to click on your insights of your business page, this starts to tell you some of the reporting information that's going to be pretty helpful. So I want you first to scroll down. Well, let's go over here to the left, go to posts. And this is going to show you every post that you have published on your page. Now, when you look at the posts, and you can scroll down, it'll go on forever, um, it will show you your most recent posts uh, in order from most recent to um, however far back in time you have this uh, looking. But when you go to the right, you'll see how that post is performing. So here's one that organically has a reach of 2,609 people. But here's what's really important is that your engagement piece, how many people are clicking on it, how many reactions, comments, and shares you have. So this particular page has a little over a thousand fans. So the fact that it's reaching beyond the page is exciting, but let's really look at this. If this engagement number is beyond 2%, gosh, that seems like a low number, but that's the average if you can believe it. If it's beyond 2% of your total page, then that is pretty darn good. Okay, so let's just take these three as an example. Then I'm going to look over to the left and see what type of post is it. It's a video, it's a photo post, and it's another video. So that tells me that my audience is responding best, and here's one that's a status, where it's just a status update, and it didn't have very much activity, actually had no activity. So you can see, uh, based on this information, that for this particular page, video is outperforming anything else, which that isn't surprising to me. We know that video is a strong performer, and it's uh, best when you're in the video. We also know that to be true. But that may not be the case for your audience. That may not be the case for your page. Yours might look completely different. Yours might have uh, more photos and no video, or your statuses might be great. So you just never know. You need to look and see what it is. Then you can click on that particular post because you might say, well, what exactly did I say? Or what did I do? Or what was that post about? To start getting some idea of what is it your audience is reacting to. That's important to note. 
So you're going to find that under insights and posts. So you want to analyze that information. The other thing I would tell you to look at is how are other pages in the same type of industry that you're in, how are their posts performing? What is their, because you probably have a fairly similar audience that you're speaking to. So let's take a look and see how that compares. Here's where you find this information. Again, we're back on the business page and we go to insights and we're on the overview section. If you scroll down, there's your most five recent posts, but keep going and you have pages to watch. Hopefully you have put a few pages in here of pages that your page is kind of like mirroring or monitoring. You're not doing anything. You're just comparing your own page to theirs in terms of how our audience is performing. So in other words, if your audience is not performing well, you can easily come over and say, well, how, how is my page comparing to others perhaps in the similar industry? So I threw some pages in here. Um, and again, here's like a parent company page. Now their total number of fans is far more than my total number of fans. So I'm not really looking at this. This part's not really relevant. What's really interesting is to see what is the engagement percentage compared to the total page likes. So when you go back and look at that, that's important to note because remember if it's two, if it's greater than 2%, then they're doing really, really well. If it's less than 2%, so like here's one that's 3,200 and here's one that's 158, then it's um, not performing as well. Okay. So, but now I might go back and say, okay, well, like here's my friend, Sky McLean's. She's doing great. What type of posts is she putting out there? So if I click on hers, it will show me this week's top posts of what is her page's top posts. So here's one where she's talking about a product. Here's one where she's talking about food, another one about product, another one about lifestyle. So I can get a good idea of something that she shared, right? So I can get a good idea because I know her audience is fairly similar to my audience. What is her audience reacting to? I'm not at all gonna say, oh, well, I'm gonna share everything from her. At least it gives me some ideas and some inspiration when it comes to figuring this piece out, okay? So two places where I want you to go to check to see how things are performing or what your audience is responding to. Again, insights, go down to um, pages to watch, see what your uh, top pages that you're watching, what are they posting that people are responding to, and then also go to your own posts on your insights and scroll down and look at your posts and see of the ones that are performing fairly well, what type of post were they and exactly what did you say or what did you do that you think contributed to the success of that post? Because those things are gonna be important to note. Now that's for business pages. So let's go take a look real quickly at our groups. This is gonna be the same concept here. In your group, you want to know what's working well, what's not working well, and what are people responding to? So in your group, Again, I'm on a computer on the left hand side, you're going to go to group insights and here in the top, you're going to click this little arrow to scroll over a little bit and you'll see posts, comments and reactions and you're going to click more engagement details. So from here, it'll say this is the last 28 days. So that's good information. And this is going to be, I'm going to say all. Okay. I want to know posts, comments, reactions, all of it. So if I scroll down, okay. I can know which are the popular days for me to be posting, which are the popular times that I should be posting. That's good information to know, but look, keep going. This will tell you these were your top posts. Okay. So again, you can click on these individual posts, take a look, see what did you, because this doesn't tell you if it was a picture or a video or what it was, but these will tell you your top posts. So go back, look through those, analyze it, figure out what were people responding to and reacting to. And that's the same type of information that you're going to want to continue replicating in this particular space. Okay, we're gonna continue building on this and building out our audience based on this information. But today it's just to give you an idea of where to look to start with. And then tomorrow we'll, we'll come in and show you how to take what you already know of what's working well, and then how do we build on that to grow our audience. Okay, so you got a little homework today and you guys can do it again. Go look at your business page insights, go look at your group insights, get an idea of what's working well, figure out what type of post it is. Uh, is it a picture? Is it a video? Are you in it? That makes a difference. So make some notes, you know, keep a little piece of paper, keep, keep up with that. And then tomorrow we're gonna show you, okay, now that you know what your audience is responding to, how are you gonna grow your audience from that information, all right?
baby steps. We're going to do this all week long. And um, hopefully by the end of the week, you'll have some good success. All right, guys, take care. Good luck. Thank you.